Hello Aquarius, thank you for tuning in to my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I'll send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Aquarius? What is Aquarius needing to know at this current moment? Okay, we got the Eight of Pentacles. So you guys should be focused on something that you're trying to build towards here. Your challenge is the Four of Swords. So some of you guys struggle with taking a break. You guys like to stay busy. The energy coming towards you is the Seven of Cups. We'll have to clarify that because there is some sort of confusion here. Your advice is a temperance, learning to bring things back into balance or to bring things into balance. And uh, learning how to not allow external factors to disrupt your inner peace here. The person who's focused on you is showing up as a will of fortune. So this is someone who's, who feels like this is a faded connection between you and them. And they're hoping for some big happy changes here. And you're needing to let go of the Five of Swords. Overall energy is the Knight of Swords. So you do have some significant changes coming in for you that will be taking place here. You have some opportunities coming in that you need to be ready to seize. Let's see what this Eight of... Okay. Um, I'm getting some procrastination from your energy because I have surrender and denial here. So I'm getting like maybe things may get tough when you're working on something here. And you may be like, screw it. That's just my sign to let it go. But it's just whatever you're doing is just requiring some hard work and discipline here. The Eight of Pentacles is a very challenging energy because it's that energy of like, wow, everyone else is out enjoying their life, having fun, or at least it seems that way. You have to study or you have to, you know, go to work. You have to do something here. But it's, it's you building towards a, a, a happy future for yourself, basically. Let's see more about the four of swords. Romance. Okay, so some of you guys are on a break from somebody. And there's a lot of chemistry between you and this person. But it looks like you're struggling to release this connection. Some of you guys may have been hoping to see this person get creative. But I'm getting that you're starting to like accept that this is a loss. Or at least that's how you look. you're looking at the situation like it's a loss. Some of you guys have not, like, some of you guys have broken up with someone or you've been waiting for someone to come back around. You haven't been willing to, like, push yourself back out there. And that's, again, with this energy of, like, you struggling to release someone here. Let's see, why is the Eight of Cups here? Soulmate. So you'll have many options here coming in. I'm getting like the Eight of Cups or a Seven of Cups, I'm sorry. It's just some com confusion when it comes to love. You're not sure what's the best option for you. But I'm getting like you're sure. What I'm getting, Aquarius, is this energy of like, you know the person that you're in love with. Like, you know the person that you truly love. But it's easier for you to just go towards someone that you don't love that much because you don't have to worry about your heart being broken. I'm getting that, <clears throat> well, for one, journaling will be beneficial to you so you don't end up regretting anything here. Let me see. I want to see more about Sacred Journey. Oh, someone who understands who you truly are. There's someone coming into your life that you're going to have great conversations with. This is someone that you'll be able to have deep conversations with. And that's what you'll truly appreciate about this person. You feel understood about this person. I'm getting like SZA, 
nobody gets me but you or nobody gets me like you someone may also like old cars I'm getting that you and this person would like to go for walks together as well. It's just like going for walks and talking and clearing your mind. Community, yes. Yeah. Um, even if you're a feminine energy here, I'm getting that you have more masculine traits. And I'm getting that it's because like you operate out of survival mode. Some of y'all may feel like you're constantly being attacked by like family, friends here. Well, I hope not friends because friends is a choice, but family, you don't, it's not, you can't really choose who your family is. So I'm getting like you learning not to allow people to get underneath your skin. You learning how to like manage your triggers here and not allow people to like cause you to lash out or to act out of character the temperance is all about finding inner peace and no longer allowing external factors to disrupt your inner peace it's bringing things back into balance okay let's see more about the person focus on you with the will of fortune here some of you guys may have randomly ran into this person vibration compromise i don't know some of you guys may need to compromise there may be uh forgiveness needed in this situation let me see because i don't know there's someone needing to raise their vibration awakening yeah someone is awakening someone for one i'm getting like two awakenings i'm getting like a spiritual awakening for someone but i'm also getting like someone awakening to this connection because they're feeling very nostalgic right now with memories here i do get that there needs to be forgiveness in this situation because what you're needing to let go of is the five of so the five of swords. You may also have regrets when it comes to this. You may regret the way you handled this situation, the way you walked away. Some of you guys may regret some of the things that you've said. Yes. They're basically saying it's like instead of reflecting back on this past situation, focus on what you want to grow. Focus on what you want to manifest so that you can rise out of this energy. Because it's like some of you guys may have a tendency to just get stuck in the past. Who's just Capricorn just had uh, the same message with not uh, living in the present moment. Being too focused on the past. Something that you don't have any control over. Ooh, some of you guys may have um i'm also getting this message of for my females out there i'm getting the message of a masculine energy here or my feminine energy i'm sorry i'm getting the energy of a masculine energy this one into like i'm not just getting like work on this relationship but i'm getting like this energy of someone like working towards this relationship and what i mean by that like they're bossing up so it's like they're they're working on improving their life but as they're working towards improving their life like they have you in mind so it's like they're thinking about okay if i you know build this up for myself i'll be able to provide me and aquarius a better life it's like they have you in the back of their mind as they're building towards uh, a better life for themselves but they see you being a part of their life when they reach like a certain level of success here but i'm getting like they're working extremely hard if this is someone who wants to pro uh, provide stability for you you may not be seeing things like you may not be seeing this situation for what it is you may feel like it's just a dream it's just an illusion you may be looking at it like it's just a fantasy but i am getting that this is a soulmate twin flame
I'm getting this person reaching out and telling you how they feel about you. It's like all of a sudden they like you get hit like it's an overflow. An overflow of emotions from the things this person is telling you. It's like they want you to know. They want to make things clear to you. A new beginning. You and this. I definitely am getting like you and this person have a new beginning. I see you and this person becoming intimate as well. So I don't know if you've been intimate with them already. The lovers. It's definitely a strong connection between you and this person. Yes, the time has come. It's about to come. Because this is in the future. Let me see why this... There's something about you needing to tap into your higher self. Learning to like check yourself when you realize like you're operating out of a lower frequency. Because I'm getting like some of you guys may have a tendency to kind of like, I'm getting February 23rd for someone, but... I'm getting this energy of someone may have a tendency to kind of like stoop low. I don't know. You may have a tendency to like worry a lot. Some of you guys may even get sick, uh, sick quite often. And I'm getting like part of this is because like you worry so much. You have a tendency to like um, have a lot of anxiety. It's like you become anxious and like I'm getting like one of the things you do when you become anxious is kind of like nag. But it's like you learning to like get that in check. That's something you're learning to do. They're working on you with. The fool, the tower. Yes, yeah, so it's some things being removed from your life and they're basically saying like not to bring it back, to let it go, to start over new. It's time to let something go. Something that has come to an end. The tower is all about divine intervention. It's like something being removed from your life in order for you to have a new beginning. But it's up to you to try to rebuild what was destroyed or to move towards a new beginning. With the fool showing up here, your advice is to move towards a new beginning. But it's up to you to do so. Let's see. I, whoever this person is some of y'all could be dealing with another Aquarius here but I do see this person taking a leap of faith towards you it looks like they're concerned about you moving on okay it looks like they're concerned about you moving on they want to be they want to take a more assertive approach here some of y'all they may have they may have came across as being cold and detached this is someone that you view as being very intellectual. You may feel like they're opinionated as well. This is someone like you was, I'm getting like you would describe this person. Like you would say that they're going like they're going places and like this is someone who's doing something with their life. I definitely am getting like you're going to be happy to hear from this person. Because this is someone that you feel like you have fun with. You truly enjoy being around. Again, I, I'm, I got this message of being present. Learning to be present with the hummingbird showing up here. So quit worrying about like mistakes that you've made in the past that you have no control over it's nothing that you can do about that now so it's no point of you continuing to reflect back on this and to beat yourself up over something that you can't change learn to just be in the present embrace the present moment what's going for you right now let's see we get final message for Aquarius any final messages for Aquarius lovers 
make a decision. It's time to make up. It's time to make up your mind with the hangman here. It's time to make up your mind about love. You're needing. Do you want it or do you do you not want it? Okay. The choice is yours. I am going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.